When you're all done scanning, it leaves you at this page. And you can see a quick result here of the things that you scanned. And you notice some of the dots are dark red, some are green, and some are bright red. So to understand what this means for each of these tissues, you go back to the card index page. And here it brings us to the results of the scan, each tissue that we scanned. First thing you want to do though is go over to date. And you see I've done scans and scans and scans over months, but I want to make sure I'm looking at today's scan. So right at the very bottom is February 15th. So I click in that box. And now the only scan I'm looking at, scan results, are today's. And the next thing I want to do is I want to look at the ones that have a low KOD because those are the major concerns, health issues that we want to treat first. So you can come to the KOD column and click KOD. And now it's going to sort them from low to high. And we don't even want to pay attention to anything that's over 1.2. And particularly, we want to pay attention to things that are below 0.5. I've been doing many scans, so my KOD levels are looking better. I don't even have any that are below 0.4 anymore. But there are still some that are showing issues. Like here, their urethra is chronic, it's saying. Gastric glands is chronic. And the energy level is super low on the gastric glands. And I know I do have digestive issues, so that's something I want to continue investigating and giving treatment. So you click on what you want to look at, which tissue you want to look at. And that tissue shows up over here. This is a picture of the tissue. And you can see in my case, it's all sixes. So it's pretty bad. So in order to investigate this further, you click on the picture of the tissue and you come to this page. And let me just quickly go over this graph right here. The blue line is the hypoactivity of a tissue and the red line is the hyperactivity of the tissue. A more healthy tissue, these two lines will follow each other almost perfectly if they're healthy. But you notice I have a few gaps here and quite a big one right here. Also, if the blue line is on the top, it's not as bad of an issue as if the red line was on the top. Red line, like here, would mean this is more of a long-standing chronic issue that might take longer for this particular problem to heal. So now we want to really analyze what's going on with this tissue. So we click on the graph. And that brings us to the analysis page. Up here in the left-hand corner, you have several topics, many topics actually, that you can examine this tissue with. But the two that we're mostly concerned about right now is pathology. Pathology is possible health conditions diseases, weaknesses that are going on in this tissue. And in this case, it looks like it's stomach problems, gastritis type problems, inflammation of this tissue we're talking about, the gastric glands. So we want to confirm that this is a problem. So you click on anything in the red. You always do these same steps. You click on Adjust All, and then you click on Auto Model. And then these red dots and numbers come up, and it shows you which one is the most severe and the ones that you should really be paying attention to. So in this case, uh, we're going to keep it on Cateral Gastritis. And if you want to know what that means, you can click on over here, Edelon Description. And most of the time, a description or a definition will come up for what that condition is. Gastritis with excessive secretion of mucus. And I've done a little deeper research and found out that that means the glands that are responsible for producing your digestive enzymes, your hydrochloric acid, may be weak. And also this gland may not be producing enough mucus to protect the stomach lining. 
So this is de definitely something I want to look into further. So let's, how do we confirm that this is a true diagnosis? So we go here to V-Test or Vigetto Test. And on mine, it's internal. Vigetto mm -hmm. Test, now it runs a scan on that particular health issue. And then we click on Analysis Plus. And in this case, it says strengthening compensatory reaction by 3%. So mine is actually getting better by a little tiny percent. But the fact that it's still under 15%, which we'd like to see it strengthening by 15 plus percent, it is still a continuing issue. So we exit, and we exit, and from here, we can give it metatherapy. I'll just do it three times. The software automatically picks protective therapy versus destructive therapy, which you only use for pathogens, bacteria, fungus, those things of that nature. But to strengthen the frequency and the natural function of the tissue, you use protective therapy. We're going to click three times. And the optimal amount of times of therapy you want to give in one session is five times five. And this goes for protective or destructive therapy. Five times five, 25 of these therapies. Now we can exit and go back to this evaluation page. And we can, um, well, here we're back to the CART index page. So let's go back to the evaluation page. Gastric glands, click the picture. Click the graph, and it brings us to this analysis page. Now, instead of looking at pathology, we want to look at microorganisms, pathogens. And this shows two things are affecting me, but they're, they're not in red. So maybe they're not a major issue, but we want to do the same steps. Click on one of the issues in the column, adjust all, auto model, and it says this first one has a red dot and an infinity sign. So it's been around for a long time and needs to be taken care of. So once again, we would do the Vigetto test. It's going to scan it to confirm if this pathogen is bothering me. An analysis plus says it's strengthening me by 2%. So this pathogen I've been dealing with for months, so as you can see, it's not bothering me anymore. But let's take a minute and look at this graph again. You notice this huge gap between the two lines. So you, if you go down here and you look at the 4.2, this gives us, gives us an indication of where these issues are residing in the body. 4.2 has to do with the tensilated epithelium of the digestive tract. So we want to look deeper into the digestive tract and see maybe that's where the major pathogen issues exist. So we can exit, exit, and we're back at the card index page. And we can dig deeper into the scans. You always want to be looking at the scans, not the metatherapy, not the Vigetto testing, but the scans. You always want to be looking at the scans. So we know that intestines are having an issue. So let's go straight to intestines. You notice my KOD level is good. It's above 1.2 and my energy level is good, 55%. So over time, I've been seeing a huge increase in the function of my uh, intestines, which is a very good sign. But there still is some chronic issues going on, as we see from the black sixes right here. So we click on the picture of the organ. We click on the graph. And it brings us to the analysis page once again. We can unclick microorganisms and look at pathology. So here's all the possible things in red that are going on in my intestines. So I'm going to click on anything in the red column. I'll click the top one. 
adjust all, auto model. And so these first two are the major issues, entritis and gastroenteritis. You can click on the Edelon description and it gives a big explanation of how this could be affecting you, symptoms that you might be feeling. It also says intestinal dysbacterioso, which means that the gut bacteria is messed up. And this I know because I'm dealing with SIBO, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And once again, with the headphones on, we can Vigetto test that. We're Vigetto testing that specific thing, intestinal dysbacteriosis. See if it really is impacting me. Analysis plus. Yes, it's weakening me by 46%. So I need to take probiotics, maybe do an intestinal cleanse to start rebuilding my gut bacteria. You can also click on auto scan. Now these numbers one through seven come up. And seven, as you can see, match those top issues. And there might be a few other sevens or higher numbers down in the column that I want to look at, but mostly it matched up with my major issues right here. So you can look at each one on its own, the ghetto test to see if it's, you're going to confirm it or deny it, the ghetto test and then analysis plus gives you the result. That's weakening me by 45%. So even though my tissue and my symptoms are getting better and stronger, there still is some intritus or inflammation going on in my intestines. So I definitely want to treat that, but I also want to see if it's due to pathogens. And look how many potential pathogens are affecting my intestines. So I would Vigetto test each pathogen, and once I've confirmed that all of these are bothering my intestines. I could highlight them all at once. Instead of just picking one, I could pick all of them. Hold your mouse down, drag your mouse up. Now I've clicked all of them. I click on the picture of the pathogen. It brings you to the scanning page because these pathogens have not been scanned yet. So they're ready to be scanned. Once I do that, they're all ready. I don't have to click them on. They're ready to be scanned. Click scan. Now the software will scan each of those pathogens. Once they're all scanned, immediately from this page, you can give destructive therapy right here. Just immediately do five. And it's going to go through all those pathogens. And it's going, you notice that they're going from yellow and orange dots to fives and fixes, sixes, which is a good thing. Because you don't want to heal them, you don't want to make them stronger, you want them to die. So that's what you want to see, that the dots are going down to fives and sixes, and hopefully in time you mostly will see all sixes. This makes it so convenient that you just added this feature to the software, this automatic uh, treatment, destructive treatment, all at once to several pathogens at once. Instead of having to examine each one individually, you can just scan them all at once and give them destructive therapy all at once, which is happening now. So when that's done, you can go back to the card index page. 
and start examining more things to see what needs therapy. And you could also see how you're improving. And the way you can see if you're improving over time is go to the Analysis Plus button. And you can see in this screen on the top, there are scans from way back. So for example, let's say I want we can you can if you click on name namesel, that alphabetizes all the things you want to look at. So when you want to see your progress over a period of time, you have to use only scans. You cannot use metatherapy or Vigetto testing. You can only use scans. So in this case, let's look at my intestines. It's all been alphabetized now. So let's pick an old picture of an intestine. Let's say this one back in... Uh, 11 of 30 and that's a scan so you want to click in the box now we want to find today's scan which is 2 15 it's right here you don't want to click in the box you just want to highlight the intestine and then you see the result down here this is this is the original condition of my intestines back in January, December, and this is it now. So it came up no reactions, but nidus of defeat by a hundred percent. So a hundred percent change towards getting well. But let me find one that's gonna show gonna show okay so in this case from way back when till now I'm actually weakening and since then I had this gut dysbiosis come up because of SIBO and I ended up in the ER so you would expect to see some change but this is how you can follow and see if you're doing better is uh, by d clicking Analysis Plus. Find one of your older scans, like let's do gallbladder. Gallbladder 11, 12. You click in the box and gallbladder 2, 12. You click, just highlight and you can see the, the result here. And in this case, that is still weakening by a little bit because I'm having these inflammation issues right now. So that's how you can follow. But another way you can follow, which is even more important, is to look at the KODs. Because my, my KODs initially like say for example on intestines used to be 0 0.3 but now they're 1.3 so I've had a substantial benefit from the therapies and my energy level is going up I'd like to see it in the green like these other tissues that have substantially gone up so that's a basic way of um, evaluating the results of your scans. And if you have any further questions, feel free to email me at shannonsdesk at hotmail.com. Thank you. Bye.